Hello, friends, and welcome to Figure Study, where we appreciate the form in Transformers. We are still doing that, and I am finally getting around to Transformers The Last Night Megatron. Specifically the Voyager, because I'm not a big fan of the leader class. I just... there are things about that I don't like. So... If you've watched any of my previous videos, you may have noticed once upon a time, I did do a video where I used Megatron here for size comparison, and I mentioned that I was holding off on doing a video on him until I got my hands on Wei Zhang's oversized knockoff called Rensora. Well, I have Rensora now, so that's the thing. We're going to get to that in a minute, but just going to jump right into here, right into the Voyager, Voyager figure, because that is easiest. For now. But don't worry, we'll, we'll get to Rensora. So yeah, the Cybertronian spaceship mode, I guess, this is. Um, this is neat. I do like the way this looks. It's almost got like kind of a bird type look to it with like this cockpit almost having like eyes. It's not like the obvious beak and everything. And yeah, I, I like the shape of it. It's very kind of, I'm going to have to keep readjusting the camera for this. I'm sorry. But it's got a very kind of, back a little further there. It's got an interesting shape. There we go. The wings are a little bit small, but, you know, toy limitations and what have you. Yeah, I like the overall shape of it. I like this exposed engine detail that they've got going on here, too. There are, like, a lot of little things that I appreciate with this. Also, I appreciate the fact that you can store his sword on the back here, and it kind of works with the general shape of the vehicle mode, so it doesn't stand out too terribly much. But we'll pop that off anyway, so yeah, you can see still some nice detail. I do like, too, how... It's hard, we'll see it in robot mode, but this right here is actually the tip of his fusion cannon, and I just love how that kind of forms a, uh, like, it, it just adds to the shape of the jet mode, vehicle mode, spaceship mode, whatever you want to call it. But anyway, aside from the shape, the color is also very nice. It's nice kind of gunmetalish gray with this yellowish kind of gold that they've got going on in the details there. It's a good combination, and there are bits of like slightly lighter gray, slightly darker gray kind of around here, most of which you're not going to see until robot mode, but <laughs> speaking of robot mode, hello. I mean, honestly, given the slightly odd shapes going on, like the underside is definitely more robot -y than the top, but like... The shapes are abstracted enough that I feel like this doesn't necessarily read as too much of a robot. Of course, the shapes up here are much more kind of <sighs> mechanical, I guess. It's like here you've got these more like curvy flowing lines and asymmetry and stuff. And then here it's much straighter lines. Not a whole lot of curved line work going on in here, but... While we're talking about line work, there is some very nice molded detail. I feel like Hasbro's gotten really good about that. Even these little bits here that are just armatures, really. Like, those have some nice detail on there. I do like that trim on the wing, too. And even some molded rear thrusters, which, yeah, I am with everyone else. Uh, these are a little weird, like, <laughs> these look like boosters, but they're pointed forward, so maybe it's supposed to fly like a squid? I don't know. Uh, they could also be guns, but they look more like boosters, and these look more like guns. Still, it works. Just reattach his sword there. So yeah, the vehicle mode is not bad. I mean, I I like it. I think it fits. It's definitely more interesting than what I've seen of a lot of the other movie Megatrons. Um, I 
with the exception of the uh, Revenge of the Fallen, or no, Dark of the Moon. Dark of the Moon Voyager Megatron, that was pretty cool. The truck that turns into the Lawrence of Arabia looking uh, <laughs> looking Megatron. But this is, I think, the neatest of the Cybertronian Megatron alt modes that I've seen. Anyway, that is Voyager Megatron. Move him off to the side here a little bit, because believe me, we're going to need the space. Oh, this thing is heavier and more cumbersome than I... <laughs> <laughs> than I always remember. And here we have Rensora. And oh, wow. Let's see if we can do more of a kind of direct comparison here. This is going to be so tough to, to get properly, but here we go. Yeah, <laughs> there you can kind of see. Oh my goodness. It's, it's like I've seen videos, I've seen pictures. I knew Rensor was big, but like until you get him in hand, I don't entirely know if you're going to be prepared for just how much bigger this thing is than the Voyager. Because I mean, dang. Get the Voyager out of the way here so we can look at the details of Rensor a little bit easier. First off, I actually think I like the color scheme on Rensor better. I like the darker gunmetal that he's got going on all over the place. And I really like this darker kind of coppery bronze color that they've got going instead of that like mustard gold. Also the boosters are silver instead of on the Voyager where they are kind of a, kind of a bluish silver. Yeah, I mean, I don't dislike the bluish silver. I just think the regular silver looks better. And aside from the mustardy, mustardy colors, you can also see one of the differences. One of the key differences in vehicle mode is the cockpit section is gray, whereas in this one it is that kind of goldish painted color. And also the intakes have actually been painted on the Voyager, whereas on Rensora, they've actually just painted the trim. Of course, the downside to that is they only painted the top of the engine block. So if you look at it from the front, you've got gray there. Whereas here, the entire engine bit has been painted. So some concessions were made. But for the most part, it's just the same. You know, it's the same thing. Oh, also these this gun detail in the front here has been painted silver, so it stands out a little more. As far as molding goes, it's pretty much the same. Like, even these little armatures have some same detail in there. The differences mostly come by way of the paint job and the plastic just being a darker color. You've got these, I think these are supposed to be Cybertronian glyphs on uh, both wings. And also on the uh, intakes here. No idea what that says. If anyone wants to look it up, be my guest. I'm not going to bother. <laughs> I wouldn't blame you if you didn't either. One thing that does definitely stand out paint-wise, though, is they actually painted the rear thrusters on Rensora. Whereas on the Voyager, as you may recall from just a few minutes ago, they did not paint them. So, bit of a difference there. And I have knocked off his sword. Let's reattach that. So yeah, same rules apply. You know, it's just it's the same jet mode, but I do like this. Yeah, uh, <laughs> keep trying to keep him on frame. I do like this general color scheme a bit better. But man, this guy's big. So I'm going to try to pull back and do a kind of more direct comparison so you can see a little bit more of just how big he is. <laughs> One moment. Okay, so here we have the two of them lined up and you can see just, just how large Rensora is in comparison to Megatron. Oh, but there's more. 
So this comparison is going to come into play much more in robot mode, but uh, here is Rensora next to Hunt for the Decepticon Starscream. And anyone who has Hunt for the Decepticon Starscream knows he's he's not small. <laughs> this is just oh boy. And of course, where would we be without our typical comparison between the or A Titans Return Deluxe? In this case, trigger happy because space jet thing, and our gold standard of Samus. And just because there might be some interest in this, here are the two swords. Uh, there we go. Two swords side by side. This thing is this thing's big. Now, due to the sheer size of Rensora, I've decided I'm gonna do the transformation with Voyager Megatron on camera, Rensora off camera, and then I'll just show like the the very minor differences in transformation with Rensora once they're both in their robot modes so we can kind of go over that but yeah for the most part the transformation for Rensora is almost exactly the same as Voyager Megatron so let's get that started <laughs> All right, so Transformers Last Night, Voyager Leader Megatron, Voyager Leader, <laughs> Voyager Megatron. I super like this robot mode. It's the transformation is fun, first of all, but I love how the ship. I mean, I, I mentioned it in, in vehicle mode where it's like the ship itself is much more kind of angular and machine looking and. The robot bits are a bit more kind of organic looking because there's a lot more asymmetry and curvature to it. And yeah, it all comes out when he is in robot mode. This looks much different than the vehicle. Why don't you, why don't you stand all of a sudden? Than the vehicle that he was originally inhabiting. He's very neat. So we're going to just jump right into the head because don't want to forget. I do really like the head. It's kind of messed up looking. It's just, I, I love just all the details here. The fact that there's like a little bit of like just this lighter kind of silver to set the top of the head apart from the rest of the face. But then you've also got a little bit of that lighter silver on the chin. Not too big on the, the mouth being that kind of gold mustardy color just because like I don't know I feel like it's just it, they kind of went in with a little too broad with what they colored there plus I just I, I do like the one thing I'll give the leader I do like the flip up face mask I wish this kind of had that like these are these bits are kind of a semi soft plastic. I mean, they're not rubbery, but they're definitely softer plastic than the rest of the figure. And I feel like couldn't these have just, you know, pushed in maybe just a little. Oh, well, I do also like these red details, like the light piping stuff there. It's actually got molded in detail there. So it looks like it's part of the head. And there's that little bit of red paint for the throat area. Nothing on the back, but it actually kind of fits the rest of it, so... Yeah, that does look good. And the paint actually goes all the way around. It doesn't do that thing where it's like the head is split in half and it just ends in the front part that so many Hasbro figures do. I just, I love the molding on this. I love the fact that it's like, it does have kind of a cybernetic medieval armor look to it. And I especially like the asymmetry going on in the chest and shoulders here. 
like just very different designs for this half here as compared to this half. And I do kind of like how you've got the big spike on this shoulder since this shoulder is the one with the arm cannon. It kind of it kind of offsets it a little bit. Ugh. Why aren't you standing? Like it just kind of offsets the shape a little bit and it, like not offsets it balances the shape a little bit I think because you've got the big gun here then you've got the spike here it just kind of yeah it's different but it works and I do like the I mean I'm not again prefer the copper color of Rensora but I do like the bits that they painted in this yellowy gold color and I do like too how these end up swinging around and becoming hip skirts. It's a nice way to deal with that kibble. Speaking of kibble, he has a very clean kind of back. I also like the wings folding around the calves. It's a decent way to kind of tuck them away. I mean, you do get a little bit sticking out here, but it's not its, it's not that bad. Yeah, I just, I really do like the design on this. And the colors, like the shade differences throughout the figure are it's interesting like they're not immediately noticeable but what's there works really well like it's one of those things that the more I look at it the more I realize there are actually tonal differences between different parts like there's this part of the chest here that's actually slightly lighter this part of the shoulder is slightly lighter on the legs you've got like the kneecap the knees are actually slightly lighter and the feet like just these top bits over the toes and these calf things, like just so many subtle color differences that just really, really make this guy interesting to look at. Move him off to the side temporarily. And let's get ready to do some Rensora stuff. Okay, so the main difference with Rensora's transformation is with the arms here where with Voyager, Megatron, you just flip the fist out and that's it. With Rensora, you actually have this panel that you have to try to do this so that you can actually see me doing it. Come on, there we go. So you flip out that panel and then you, then you flip out the fist and then close that back up. And it doesn't completely cover the uh, gap in the forearm, but it does, you know, it does well enough. Actually, now that I'm looking at this, I'm wondering if, oh, stay standing. You stay standing. And yeah, okay, the gap in the, the bicep is, that has carried over. So Rensora here, I actually clipped his sword under the back, but put that in his hand. He is full of ratchet joints, and he actually has wrist swivels, which obviously Voyager Megatron does not have, which I do definitely like those wrist swivels. But I mean, other than that, he's the same figure. It's just the details are a little bit different, where you've got these, like, the coppery coloring instead of the mustardy gold color. It's got die cast in the lower, in like the feet. The, uh, just this, the wing tip is die cast, but the rest of it is plastic. And the way those tattoos line up, it's like he's got calf tattoos. <laughs> so yeah. Let's see if I can actually get them set up to do a side by side. <laughs> oh, goodness. Yeah, uh, <laughs> Rensora is a tall guy. So there are some other differences. I mean, like, there are certain things that are painted on, Vo on the Voyager that aren't painted on Rensora. Like, the, the forearm coloring actually goes up further on the forearm than it does on Rensora, but then Rensora has this nice coppery trim in the forward hip skirts, whereas Voyager has nothing. 
I really do like the color scheme on Rensor. The only thing that's a little bit kind of disappointing is the fact that he doesn't really have the same subtle color shifts that the Voyager has. Like, there's no, you know, there's like no little bit of silver here, a little bit of silver here. The kneecaps are a slightly off, like a slight, not off, a slightly different shade, which is good. But yeah, other than that, molding's exactly the same. The head does not have light piping, which this one does, although the light piping on the Voyager doesn't really work that well. It's just, I think it's either painted or red plastic. But, I mean, yeah, same, uh, same exact figure in just general, in general, uh, appearance. Let's bring this a little closer so we can look at that enormous head. <laughs> <laughs> just comparatively but yeah it's the same it's the same deal i mean i do like the red kind of sticks out a little better because honestly the light piping on the voyager doesn't work that well so it makes sense that they did just solid or painted plastic the eyes don't really stand out i feel like those could have been painted brighter maybe or painted i don't even know if they are painted and I'm looking forward to, supposedly Wei Zhang's going to be doing another version of this where they take the Voyager, blow it up, and actually give it the face mask gimmick of the leader figure. And I am totally on board for that. So yeah, um, that is, oh man. Okay, yeah, this was an issue I ran into. My Ren Sora, I don't know if it's just because of my transformation, like I was not careful or what, but this thing snapped on mine. It's still hanging by a thread. I tried gluing it. I'm going to have to try doing it again. But yeah, I'm going to need to fix that. <sighs> Any who's it's I am starting to run out of time here, so let's get to those comparisons. Okay, just to get them out of the way, the uh, first thing here we have the uh, Titans Return Deluxe, Trigger Happy, and the Samus Amiibo, which you can't even see. Let me angle this down a little bit. There you go. Yeah. <laughs> this is absurd. And because I mentioned that it was going to be a factor later on, here we have Ren Sora next to Hunt for the Decepticon Starscream, and his Starscream's legs aren't bent that much. So, <laughs> yeah, he's... He's so tall. How tall is he? Well, if you follow me on Twitter, you probably saw this comparison already, but he is pretty much as tall, maybe slightly taller than a freaking Megazord. So yeah, <laughs> Rensor is just a very, very big dude. Anyway, I think that is going to do it for this. I am sorry if I skipped anything. I think I, I thought I got everything, but yeah, it's it's hard to hard to know what the best things to cover are with these sometimes, especially with these comparison videos. Overall, Rensor is exactly the same as Voyager Megatron, with the exception of the die-cast feet, the wrist swivels, and the color scheme, and of course the fact that he's like three, four times bigger. <laughs> but He's very neat. I do really, I do really like Ren Sora. Truth be told, I'm not entirely sure I'm gonna be able to figure out a good way to fit Ren Sora on my movie shelf, even if I leave Voyager Megs off, because I just my movie shelf is very full, and I don't have any more shelves to kind of spread things out to. So we'll see what happens with this, because dang, but. Uh, yeah, I mean, he's... Voyager Megatron is a very cool figure. Rensora is a very cool figure, because they're both the same. I'm honestly not entirely sure which I can say is my favorite, because Rensora, you know, made well, die cast, all that good stuff. But he's almost too big. Like... Like... He's supposedly blown up to leader size. This is not leader size. 
this is not leader size. This is bigger than leader size. But uh, I mean, I don't, I, I don't dislike him. I think he's neat. He's just, he's so big, so big, and space is at kind of a premium right now in my apartment. So uh, I don't quite know how I'm gonna make it work, but I want to make it work because he is very neat. Honestly, if nothing else, I feel like the wrist swivels kind of make him worth it. <laughs> like if they could do a, uh, if they could, if they, if someone could do like a Voyager Megatron just with wrist swivels, that would probably be perfect for what I want. But, uh, but yeah, no, he's, I don't regret getting Red Sword because he's very cool. And I love the color scheme. But like I said, I just wish there was a little bit more of that subtle kind of tonal difference that the Voyager has. But I do really like the copper color and the darker gray. But I'm repeating myself, so that means it's time to say enough of this. So thank you everybody for watching. As per usual, feel free to like, comment, subscribe. Any of those three would make me a happy Rob. And I forgot to go over this one more time, but yes, that was my look at Transformers The Last Night, Premiere Edition, Voyager Megatron, and Wei Zhang's Rensora, which is an oversized knockoff of Voyager Megatron. They are, they are quite a duo. Anyway, thank you for watching, and remember, art of various sizes and origins is more than meets the eye.